Yesterday, I went to my local antique mall. I found this gem. That is in a major key, and you know that because it goes do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do. It does that thing because there's the mechanism in there when it rolls, but that's not music. That's an annoyance. So I have recently discovered that the paperback veneer is really easy to work with with Bentwood lamination. I made this iPad holder recently. As you can see, there's some good bends in there, and the paperback veneer allows you to bend the wood a lot more than you normally would because it's got support behind it. I got this from KenCraft. Just look for walnut paperback veneer, and we're going to use that to make the base. First thing we need to do is we're going to tear this apart. Then we're going to go and make the form out of a 2 by 10 <laughs> I actually don't own a scroll saw to do it the traditional way, so I'm going to use my laser. I got this gray wood, not sure what it is, but it appears to be dyed. So we're going to tape them together. There is such a thing as veneer tape that when you get it wet and as it dries, it pulls the pieces together. You want the tape on the face side, the side that's going to show. I think it's going to work. So we're going to cut this out on the bandsaw and the veneers are going to get trapped in there and I'm trying to figure out the angle of my leg. I think it's going to be around 55 degrees. You don't want a sharp angle in there. Now we'll go cut that out on the bee saw. I have a limitation here on my bandsaw. When we run this through here, that's all the higher I can go. So I gotta cut this down on the Now I'm gonna sand off a little bit of the edges on this inside piece. Because as you see, as I move this top piece up, you can see the lines aren't consistent. This is a little thicker and this is a little bit thinner. The trick is to remove as much material as the thickness of your glue up. So what I have to do is just sand down a little bit on each edge. That way there's the same gap. So we have that all cut and sanded. We're going to line the inside with some foam, just some crafter's foam, and that adds a little bit of sponginess, some cushion in there, and that's going to smooth out the marks left by the bandsaw blade and just kind of give it some more during the glue up. So now we're going to use packing tape on top of this, and the reason we're using packing tape is because any glue that squeezes out won't stick to the tape. All right, so we got that coated all in tape. There is our, our form. The bottom one, we need to flip over this way so we see the wood. I want that center so the pattern looks right. So for this, you want all the clamping pressure that you can possibly get. So we're gonna use a ton of clamps. You see that, Dan? You see that, Dan? You like that? You fucking like that? I don't, I don't, I'm not sure Dan actually likes that. I don't mind it. <laughs> you can never have enough people saying you can never have enough clamps. Normally I would wait a little bit longer. This is the money shot right here. This is, this lets you know if everything came out okay. It has been two hours. Oh, 
Oh, look at that. So I need to trim off the sides, trim off the bottom, just do a little bit of cleanup. And then we're going to add a piece, uh, I don't know what to call it, but a support here, just to kind of stiffen this up, make it, make it beefy. Was that on camera? I wasn't even cutting and it broke. That's the second time that's happened. I'd like to take a moment to tell you about today's sponsor and that is Squarespace. Squarespace empowers you by providing the tools you need to bring your creative ideas to life. On Squarespace's dynamic all-in-one platform, you can claim a domain, build a website, sell online, and market your brand. My website, makesomething.com, is a Squarespace site and my podcast, makingitpodcast.com, is also a Squarespace site. For 10 years, I was a professional web developer and now I use Squarespace because it is so easy to use and there's tons of beautiful templates to choose from. Many of you are also using Squarespace and a few weeks ago, I asked you to send me your Squarespace links and that is what you're seeing on the screen now. If you want me to feature your work next month, post a link to your Squarespace site down in the comments and I may just feature you. Head on over to squarespace.com for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash make something to get 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Thank you, Squarespace. We need to put a nail in there. And I don't think I have enough material to support a nail. So what I need to do is just cut a board and glue that to the bottom. So then when we put those nails in there, it has some, some. You'd think we'd be done with it, but we need to amplify this guy. It's a contact mic. Piezo mic? Pezo? Piezo? Pezo? Piezo? Piezo? It's a little loud. Could you turn that down? The music you've been hearing throughout this video is from this guy right here. I did sample the notes. This is in a major scale, so I sampled them, and then in, within my MPC, it fills in the gaps, so I get the notes in between the notes, and then I can have a chromatic, any note that I want. All 
I've also played a little bit of live on here as well. I'll have a link down in the description to the full song. That was a fun project that looks badass. I'm really happy with the way that came out. I gotta play around with the placement of the mic. I don't quite like how that sounds, but we're just having fun. Son of a...